In this video, we're going to go through using the UI recorder in Test Modeler. Okay, so we're just on um, the Magento Web Store website here. And what we're going to do is come into our Chrome extension. We're going to log in. We will select the project that we're working in. And we're going to hit the record button here. We're then going to hit record to start recording. And we're going to go through and start interacting with the page that we want to automate. Uh, so, and then finally we'll click the create an account button. Now if we come in and we stop recording and we take a look, we'll see we have 14 recorded actions. And we can come in here and we can see each of those steps that has come through and been performed. What we're going to do here is come in and hit upload. And we're going to call this our Magento login. And we'll hit save. What this is going to do is upload all of that activity into the Test Modeler portal. If we come back and take a look in Test Modeler at our models view, you'll see we've got a new file here. If we open that up, what we'll see is a model here representing the different routes that we took. In this case, through the registration page, just the linear recording. We can see we had one recorded journey, and we can also take a look at a heat map view here to see what exactly we've interacted with in the application and how many times we interacted with it. Now we can go through if we like and we can do many recordings. So we might just do another one here where we come in um, and just record maybe some negative activity. So we'll hit record again. We'll come in here and we'll say um, this is Hugh. And maybe we won't enter an email or password and we'll click the sign in we get a bunch of errors. Now we come back into the recorder, we can upload. This time what we're going to do is we're going to add this to an existing recording that we've done. And we'll call this one our negative test. And hit save. And again, this is going to upload that data and it's going to merge it in. We come back to our journeys view, we do a refresh. What we'll see is that we now have two journeys here that have been associated, the negative one and the positive one, both of which were recorded. We could come in and we could view the steps. So if we view the steps inside our negative one here, we'll see the different activities that happened, the different images we captured, and the state of the underlying application. We'll also see our blueprint, and this has now got a couple of other routes in. And our heat map has also been updated accordingly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to export this recording. So we're going to select everything we want to export. We'll hit the export button here. We're going to come out and we're going to go to our Magento here. We need to give a folder that we're going to export to our recording. And we'll hit the export button here. And that's going to spin up a new job to go away and export our model. Now if we take a look, what we'll see is that we've got some modules that have been created for the account and the creating new account page here. If we come back, we'll see we've got different components for two pages, creating a new account and my account. And if we come in here, we'll see we've got our master flow, which has got these two subcomponents embedded. And so if we expand these, you'll see all the different logic inside here for going to the page and entering and clicking our different values that we're going to enter. Now we'll select this, we're going to do a generate, which is going to generate our different paths and our different tests. We've now got seven routes through this model. And what we can then do is we can say go away and execute this automation. And what that is going to do is pick up these seven tests, generate the appropriate code. In this case, we've selected to use our Java framework, which is built into Test Modeler. So we'll see here, it's actually going to go away and compile and run the test. Thanks for watching this video. Visit testmodeler.io to start your free trial today.